All right, here's the top five welterweight contender, Bilal, remember the name Muhammad. And I pause at calling him an overachiever, but there were a lot of people who didn't necessarily think that this man was gonna vault into the top five and be the factor that he has become in one of the UFC's deepest divisions. Well, when you're this committed, when you are so committed to your craft and you have an iron will that you will be something special, you can accomplish anything. That's Bilal Muhammad, when you talk to him, you get a sense that this guy believes that he's the best in the world. He doesn't believe it. He applies the work ethic to it to make himself and give himself a chance. It has allowed for him to be exactly where he is today. And now he believes he might just be one win away from his first shot at the UFC title. We'll see how it goes for Muhammad tonight. Yes, he is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion, Leon Rocky Edwards. Obviously, there weren't many people picking him to beat Kamal Usman at UFC 278. But that fight was scheduled for 25 minutes. He needed all of them. He produced one of the greatest highlights in UFC history. He did. He needed 24 minutes and 30 seconds in order to become the champion. But he never gave up on himself. It seemed as though everything was trending in the wrong direction, and he got the job done. Leon Edwards is a phenomenal fighter. He's very well-rounded, and he's real big for the weight yeah. class. And you see his physicality come into play in that first round against Kamaru Usman taking him down and controlling him on the ground. Right. But tonight he has a different challenge. He doesn't have the guy that brings all the accolades. He has a young, hungry lion that's looking to knock him off his throne. And we will see how Leon handles this challenge, but of course increased eyeballs on Leon Edwards given what he was able to accomplish in becoming the man at 170 pounds. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Presenting the challenger, Bilal, remember the name, Muhammad! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Leon Rocky Edwards. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon fight. for this one. Ready. Good. All right, so here's the oncoming welterweight contender, Bilal, remember the name Muhammad. And when he is not hosting a podcast with my twin brother, Jason, he is disposing of UFC welterweights left and right. It has been an incredible rise to prominence for Bilal Muhammad. And most of it has been rooted in his wrestling, in his grappling, in his ability to get these fights where he wants it, ideally on the canvas. And more often than not, when he gets you there, you can't get him. And now some knees. Muhammad's bleeding from the mouth now. A cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. Now a takedown attempt. It is not there. And not a come behind it. That is a damaging kick. Nice early head kick for the champion. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got to hurt very bad. Big right hand. Oh, no feeling out process tonight. These fighters are rolling early. Those guys came to fight from the Finish here. Now he's back up. Oh, big elbow. And there he goes.
goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is. Oh, nice headlock. That guillotine is tough. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Edwards gets back up. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, Potentially working on a submission instead. Ooh, that looks tight. Looks like it's getting tight. Whoa. Whoa. Somehow, some way, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Edwards gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Oh! Wow, both of them are landing massive shots. Oh, what a round. How good was that? All right, that's the end of the round. You see the fighter's got a cut on his lip, not necessarily a Robbie Lawler lip opening, if you know what I'm talking about, but certainly something that could be a source of adversity here moving forward. Cut man in there quickly to try to shore it up. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready to fight? Ready. Second yeah. round underway. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes up. shot like that. You don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh, with authority, the body. Oh, huge left. Oh, nice jab there by Muhammad. Flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Nice combination lands to the head. All right, well, he made no bones about his game plan. He was going to attack the body, and he does so effectively yet again. Well, how about the discipline? How about the discipline to stay the course? To, he's setting up the arm bar. Ooh, that's tight. I detect. It's starting to get really tight in there. All right, so now going to position over submission as he bails on the sub. Edwards it's gets back up. Oh, oh, All right, so he lands again just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game time. You know, why change it? It's working. Oh, the elbow right on the line. It was perfect. It was a perfectly placed shot, and you see his opponent reacting violently from that Continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Nice kick to the body. 
Well, no feeling out. Oh! This is big. That's big. Both guys appeared to land there. Oh, beautiful job to get the takedown late in the round. He is about as conditioned as it gets. He's not looking at the clock necessarily. He's not running clock all offense all the time. He knew he was going to wrestle, and he knew he may have to wrestle early and often. And right now, this situation is often because he's, he's been attempting takedowns over and over again. He finally gets one as we get to the end of the round. All right, so as the cut man gets to work, we'll re rack some replays from the previous round. Well, he's got some work to do. The cut man's gonna have to work a miracle because this guy was on the receiving end of some real damaging shots. And if he doesn't do something different defensively, it's going to get worse. And if it gets worse, the fight may be stopped. You ready? You ready? Good. Round three of a possible five. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Grips the body there. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Muhammad's coming. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 58 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC Walter White champion of the world, Leon Rocky Edwards. All right, how about Leon Edwards, your winner tonight by KO. Look at him now. It is amazing to think where he was just a few short years ago. Now he's all the rage. I mean, for years, this guy begged for a title fight. When he got his opportunity, he cashed in, became the champ, and now he's showing that he's getting better and better. He said, look at me now. Yes, Leon, we're all watching you. Knock people out over and over again. And I'm not sure there's a...